Hi ladies, um, I thought I'd just do a quick vlog about my experience of having a caesarean section because when you're pregnant you feel really vulnerable, you don't know what's going to happen to you, what it really is like, So, um, and everyone's different, everyone's experience is completely different, but um, a lot of the time they kind of, a lot of like the NCT groups and stuff, trying to suggest natural births with everything that you do, um, <clears throat> that's perfectly fine, and that is what I wanted, I wanted this time round to have a natural birth, and I studied hypnobirthing, I wanted to try and have a water birth, um, but ladies, if things change, do not beat yourself up and feel really stressed about it. Just embrace it and go with it. That's what I decided to do this time round. First time round, nearly six years ago, uh, my daughter, the birth was just a nightmare birth. It went on for like four, 38 hours and just as she was about to be delivered, we were so close, I was so close to having an emergency C-section. And the thought of going through all of that birth, the labour, oh my goodness, afterwards I was completely out of it. I didn't really, I didn't enjoy the experience whatsoever. I was in so much pain. This time round, oh my God, it was like a whole different story. So I'd done my hypnobirthing, I'd done a course of hypnobirthing. I'd been um, doing all my breathing, my affirmations and everything going amazingly until in the last few weeks I found out that I had a big baby um, and after my daughter's birth I re she was eight pound eight and a half pounds two weeks early and I was like there's no way that I'm going to go through an emergency c-section so I either want to have a natural birth with a uh, hypnobirth using my hypnobirthing or I want to have an elected C-section. And it was a decision I chose to make along with the doctors that it would be very unlikely that if this was a big baby, which again, they can guesstimate. And sometimes they say, oh, you're having a big baby and it can pop out really small. But at the time they were guesstimating he was going to be about nine pounds and they said it can be 20% either way. So I was thinking, oh my gosh, there's absolutely no way I can do that naturally um so we decided to go for an elective cesarean section now my experience everyone's different of course but personally my experience wow i loved it number one because i am a bit of a control freak i like to plan everything i like to know when things are happening and i was very on edge like i was with my daughter when when am i going to go into labor is it going to happen in the middle of tesco's oh my goodness are we going to have childcare for our daughter will my husband be able to be with me is he nearby that worry was out of the window you don't need to i didn't need to worry about anything like that it was great i found out i was having an elective cesarean my mum looked after our daughter got up at 5 6 in the morning had a shower, put my makeup on, blow dried my hair. <laughs> I felt all clean and fresh and nice. Went to the hospital and by, so I went to the hospital at seven-ish. By 10 o'clock, I was on the ward with my son. And who says you can't have a natural, emotional birth with a C-section? If they do, they're wrong. During my cesarean, I use my hypnobirthing techniques. I use my breathing before I had uh, the spinal, what do they call it? The spinal block. Um, didn't feel anything really. I didn't, the pain, the only pain was just when the cannula went in. Apart from that, my breathing really helped me. I stayed really calm. Um, when Rocco was born, he latched on straight away, which was amazing. And he was such a big, greedy boy that he fed for an hour and a half. Yep, they were actually wheeling me to the ward and he was still feeding. And then he fed completely through the night after that as well for about four hours. <laughs> so when they predicted I was having a big baby, they were 100% right. He came out at £10.1. So uh, that was bigger than I expected. And I'm so happy I had a C-section and it was planned. And I knew what was happening. That took a lot of the stress away of the you know the final week and stuff when you're feeling really oh gosh I'm so tired I'm so heavy when is it going to happen is it going to be soon that was taken away but also the stress of going through an intense heavy labor some women are really lucky and they can give birth 
in water pools. I've got a friend who had an amazing experience in a uh, birthing pool. Um, but we're all so different, ladies. So if your doctor does say you might have to have a C-section, don't beat yourself up. Just try and brace it as naturally as possible like I did. I breastfed afterwards. We had instant skin on skin. Um, I used my hypnobirthing techniques. And I was just totally aware of what was going on. As soon as he was born, I mean, I just as soon as I saw him and held him, I just burst into tears. It was just such an emotional, beautiful experience. And if I ever had another one, which I'm not going to, I would do that all over again because that was amazing if I could. Um, so yeah, so that's just my exp my personal experience of a C-section. Hope that helps if you're thinking and you want a positive C-section experience. Oh, and also uh, my scar is is amazing. You don't notice it at all, and it's under the like the bikini line. So all good. <laughs>